Alrighty, g'day, g'day guys and girls, how are we all going? Welcome back to another recording here on the YouTube channel. It's a Wednesday night, just a bit after quarter past eight, or actually 20 past eight, Australia's the standard time. On a Wednesday night, we're back for Wallaby Racing League for their tier one uh, division for the, I suppose you could call it around seven or eight um, of the season, considering obviously you see uh, round six was technically supposed to be Imola, but obviously you got postponed for the time being, so we... Yeah, but uh, we did round six in Mexico, so round seven brings us to Silverstone. Um, it, let's be honest with the track that I haven't had much success on uh, so far this season, but look, I'll definitely try my best, but um, yeah, I'm not very confident in this one. I have 18 runners, I think there might be a couple of guys joining late potentially, or we might this might be it, so... Well, that's not too bad, so uh, we'll see how this one pans out. Driver standings. So Left 4 Dead leads by 12 points over Ryan, who can't, who's obviously not racing tonight. Then it'll be uh, Noodles, who I think is racing. I'm pretty sure he is. Let me just double check. Actually, he might not be racing. Yeah, I don't see any Aston's there, so he might not be racing. Uh, actually, Rilo's there, so... Uh, well, maybe not news, but anyway, that's the standings. You can see it on the screen there. Uh, we're up in the fourth position uh, in the standings, up to on 44 points. We're behind a few guys that are sort of close handy. We're only like um, nine points behind Chilo, so to get inside the top 10. So we're moving upwards. My teammate is in 14, a couple of spots behind me on 30 points. So we're definitely on the improvement. I'll tell you why. Because Aston Martin lead the Constructors' Championship by 22 points over Red Bull. And another further point back to Williams. Mercedes, now we've jumped to fourth. Just ahead of Ferrari by four and Haas by six. And in the overall constructions with all the tiers, all the three tiers that the Wallaby Racing League has, Mercedes now lead that series, that one by 10 points over the Bulls. And then you go all the way down to McLaren who are down in 10th. So we are making... See last week, go check it out before I give spoilers away. But uh, yeah, that, that, it was, that was the. Uh, you better turn off this <laughs> this video quickly before you get spoiled. But um, yeah, that was the sprint race results. Uh, fortunately, we didn't score any points in that one, so uh, we don't really do well on that one. But we did recover well in the main race with a little bit of luck going our way with strategy. It sort of helped us out. We came from 13th to fourth in the end, so that was a good result. And teammate uh, Jack finished ninth as well. A couple of us stewards' inquiries. I think the first one was sort of taken uh, from the uh, the uh, higher up, I think, for this one between Lefford and Ryan. Um, basically, the only thing that changed was the get the position back. Um, if you watch the footage from last week, yeah, Ryan obviously went for a late move and obviously he ran off track while doing it. So, you know, obviously, uh, yeah. Um, I don't really want to get too much involved in that one, but um, we, you see what the results there from the stewards are anyway. So um, whether you agree with it or not, that's what they decided to go to do. There was a couple of others with my teammate, but they were deemed uh, racing incidents. Let's have a look at the announcements. Yeah, the, the first one was pretty much straight after the Mexico round, which apparently the driving standards... I mean, I didn't see them too far behind, but... Um, Apparently, the driving standards were not to, up to scratch. And potentially, I think Monaco may be dropped from the calendar because of it. Um, obviously, Monaco, we know the last couple of seasons, they haven't had um, many safety cars. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a shame. But, um, I mean, if they want to improve the race craft, then maybe that's the way to go. So, I won't complain if that's the way they want to go. And also, the other one uh, was they're going for the formation laps back on and the red flags are going to be back on as uh, or back on as well from... The all clear the garage, please. No, I'm not going to say all the leagues are going to follow in this footsteps after this one, but um, maybe after this patch update that's come out, that came out yesterday actually, um, which obviously forced the postponement of T2. We should have enough time to get two runs in, I hope. I need, really need to get food into me as well. I literally picked the worst time to cook dinner as well, so. That's on my bad, but uh, yes, we shall see how this one pans out. 
No wet weather forecast. I will admit the last time we did this round, I think it was Rapid Racing League, it was a bit all over the shop really and I, it was absolutely, um, just that had no words really. The wild was absolutely smothered quite much on the, uh, the straights. So because of that, I have gone a little bit down on the, the wings, which obviously I've recommended from the Super Racing Centre. I've seen quite a few people in this SRC Discord some tracks with their setups are probably a lot better compared to others with like certain high wings but um, they did obviously make the recommendations if you want to go down on the wings like you know, three, four or five flicks I've gone down I think about three on the rear and four on the front so get out of the way here and everything else a little bit on the marbles which is not ideal but Jesus. Yeah, that was bad for my teammate there. Whether these lower wings help or not, we shall find out. Expecting to be up there with the guys like Left Dead or you know, Miles Curtis. It's like the second random person who's joined this lobby. Go you fifteenth know, with a twenty-six four. Warm up procedure was not ideal, so the least probably could have done a little bit better, but anyway. Fastest at the moment. Uh, the fastest lap at this point in time is a one minute. One by two. Off the okay. Point two. Sorry, we can't provide you with that information right now. Right, let's have you in at the end of this lap, please. I'll just mute myself very
Apologies okay, if you hear so a lot far, of chewing, but... This lap is a 126.4. Maybe get a high 25 of uh, no, about the 20. Like a low 20, low 26, high 25. But you know, there's a lot of these guys could improve on their second runs anyway. So we're 16th in the speed trap, 335.6 kilometers per hour. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Let's talk earlier. Shit, we better gig out here very shortly. Okay, engines fired up, we're set. Been saying that fries is also eating on the stream apparently. Having a bit of pasta, so not the only one. pedal this is the way to warm up the tires these days to speak for anybody else that's watching this video this is, this is how I've found out this uh, anyway from other content creators this is the way to go to warm up the tires weaving does absolute fuck all these days better with that, that lap but anyway it's 11 because Benno's just jumped in would have been a hell of a lot better without that first sector who yeah, else we still got flies um, Mystic's retired Storm Hutto's retired so that saves us a little bit anyone worry is probably his top Yeah, 
no, 12th only. Okay, so we get 11th, so we're just outside the 10. Sorry if you can hear anything through the microphone, I apologize, but... Just roll with it. We'll roll with it. See what we get. I think there'll be last minute changes like there usually is. You guys on the Mets. Both myself and Jack are on the hards. We haven't done this for a fair while, so I don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> Starts haven't usually been ideal. Right, let's have a look. So, Lefferdet, Chilo, Zoltana Brand, Benno, J Rad, Hutto, Cubistic Killer, all on the meds, everybody else on the hearts. Makes sense. No threat of rain for the time being, conditions look good. Again, weaving does not help. This doesn't work on this game. Doing that, worse to is the marbles. I think that lag out again last week. Like bit, oh, sorry, like I did last week. Thankfully, the second car saved me last week, so very thankful for that. But I doubt whether we'll get red flags this race. Who knows? I could get, I might be shocked, but. That doesn't fuck the lobby either. But... Trying to avoid the carnage as well. Turn one, where it usually happens. Off. 
Okay, incredible parking there, nice one. That's going to give you the edge if you can get a good launch as the race starts. Let's see what we get. Already. What the fuck was that? I don't know who the track. fuck's the where, but how, how do we get right one DNF ahead. already? Virtual safety car deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. Virtual Just keep driving, deployed. lads. Look at the delta. It wasn't a best, was it? Literally continue fucking racing at this point. Okay, BSC ending. We're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flag. See what our speed's like, straight line wise. Oh, there goes another one. Curtis. This uses the um, same sim racing center. Uh, like that up. Definitely was no contact on my screen. Green flag. Yeah, yeah, this was uh, he uses the same sim racing center setups that I do. He's part of the Discord. I know that for a fact. But he went way too high on the wings last week at Mexico and found that out on the straights. I found that out in an LSRL, so... That's a different strategy, that's fine. That's killer, that was. Man, he lagged that last week, now he's pretty much dead after like, not even three turns. Don't go side by side through here. DRS now in lead. DRS in lead. Yeah, the change is Ross. Got like 22.
Save the battery. Rear ends. Probably because of the low drag rear wing. Anyway. Ben over behind, we're in a good spot here. Tyres, that's alright. Once you burn battery, you don't get it back. Train building up behind him. Look at it's gone. Right out time. Okay, gap ahead is 1.7 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are five laps old. The last lap time was a 1 minute 30.3. Okay, so you're gaining by one tenth a lap. Seconds. They're on 
old medium. Their tyres are six laps old. Time last lap was a 1.31.0. Right, you're falling back by one tenth of lap. Fighting here, guys. Come on. Okay, so you're gaining by one-tenth a lap. Okay, keep an eye on that gap ahead. There's nothing much between
seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are nine laps old. The time last lap was at one minute, 31.2. All right, at the moment, you're losing three tenths a lap. Come on, dig in. But anyway, what can you do? Team Ace is coming. out of the engine. Not quite Las Vegas style, but...
1 minute 31.4. Okay, so you're gaining by one tenth per lap. And gap to the car in front Eight is 7.9 seconds. I just literally asked you that. So I have five seconds to go, Mark, to fill up. Okay, we can take you this lap. Mr. Turn in, that's fine. Okay, off we Wait, go. Back into the race. That was a fast Softs? Stop. You're kidding Faster me, right? We Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. Fresh air. Sweat the game. Okay, so the gap to the car ahead, three point four Chopper, it's a bloody annoyance. Our gap behind is 2.0 seconds. They're on 
fresh mediums. Their tyres are three laps old. Time last lap was a 129.2.
this for the time being, three seconds behind. Picked up his pace, or the, the hards have started to come back on him a little more. That made no sense.
sold. Time last lap was a 130.3. Okay, so you're gaining by one tenth a lap. Nice now, I think. Just got enough. GG's Jay, right? Yep. Soft can make it. Who knew? Just had enough pace. We covered P7 anyway, up from P11, so we'll definitely take that. Ooh. Some penalty for. Oh, well, yeah, that's usually the case when you gain a bit.
I realized I've just been muted this whole time. So, um, yeah, you probably heard absolutely none of that. So, yeah, absolutely none of that. We'll just get back to that. So, yeah, and what I was saying was, um, yeah, P7, uh, to get back to where, where we got to from, like, P11 on the grid. And obviously, Jack got uh, eight from 18th to 13th. Like I said, whether he can get his time penalty removed, uh, for who knows. But um, you know, it's definitely a good, good building steps anyway. Um, probably don't have the outright pace on some of these quick guys like Left 4 Dead or Ryan when he wants to race or even Noodles and all those guys. But you know, just keep consistency going. That's all I can ask for, really. So, yeah, the tie stint, yeah. What, yeah, what I was trying to say was, well, you probably saw me dancing around a little bit. Um, the Riz probably locked a couple of times, which didn't help things. Um, but obviously, I adjusted it with the brake bias a little bit. Whether that did help or anything, I don't know. But yeah, I was only worried sticking out, going out more longer on the hard compounded tyres because, well, I was a bit worried with the tyre the tire wear. But in theory, maybe we should have pitted just after J-Rad or instead of the couple of laps after that we did. But... Yeah, just wanted to be prove it. Be better, be safe and sorry. And you never know with safety cars. But uh, we didn't have any tonight. No, did we have any red flags? So that's not too bad. Now, next week, let's try and get back to this one again. Next week, Abu Dhabi, we head to. That's a sprint round as well. So that will be an interesting track to to master. Obviously, with the the new uh, uh, the uh, obviously the track layout changes that happened. When did that happen? Well, twenty. Officially happened in 2021, but um, didn't come into the 2022 game. But um, yeah, Abu Dhabi's next up on the calendar. Um, not sure about, like I said, but earlier on uh, with all the driving standards. But whether Monaco will be there after on 13 September, well, that, that's still debatable. But whether they chuck another track in or what, whether Portugal or um, what else is it? What else is in on this calendar? We already had Singapore, so. But obviously, the, since then, the Singapore layout has been updated since the patch got up, a uh, new patch came last night. So, uh, I don't actually know what track they have in the club. I think Portugal, maybe China. I'm not sure. Don't think, well, actually, they might have changed Las Vegas around to another track. It might have been China then. But um, that was just before I came in. So, was it before? No, actually, I came in that round, didn't I? What was that round? Actually, let me. Just let me double check real quick. Let me. Oh, no, that's right. They did France. That's right. That was round four. So, yeah. France replaced Las Vegas. So, who, who knows? I, um, that, it's, it's not a 100% guarantee whether we'll do Monaco or not. But um, and then following that, we'll have Canada, which will be a 100% race. So, whether there will be any survival of that one, who knows? And then we'll do Imola, obviously, in one of the week breaks. It'll happen between Canada and Miami. So, uh, but, yeah, we will see what happens there will they put out a vote for everybody I don't, I don't know if it's just us t in tier one or whether it be all the tiers but um it, it's still up for debate i think but the only tracks i can think of are portugal and china but unless i've missed something uh along the way then yeah we'll we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll get to that anyway when we come i'll probably ho hopefully know something by next week anyway so but well, yeah, we'll get like I said, we'll worry about it when we get closer to it. But anyway, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go follow me on my social channels. The links will be down in the description. Plus, I'll leave the links for Wallaby Racing League if you want to go check them out. Um, I don't unfortunately have access to a Discord link because this server is more of a private server, and they're very critical on like who, what drivers join set the, the league, whatnot. But if you're associated with one of their other leagues, like um, like Rapid Racing League or OCE Racing League or even Bloody Rush. Um, I don't know if there's any other leagues that are associated with them, but if you're in associated with them, you can go check it out. But other than that, I think the point of call, you can go probably to the Twitch channel, which will be Wallaby Racing League. 
W-A-L-L-A-B-Y. 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 Try and say that many times. Wallaby Racing League is what it is. Um, they've got all various... Three different tiers. Tier 1's on Wednesday. I think Tier 2's on Tuesdays. And Tier 3's on Sundays. All 8.15pm Australian Eastern Standard Time for the time being until Dallas Saving comes in, which is not for... A, well, not for quite another month yet, but... Yeah, they'll be getting close anyway, so... Um, yeah, you can come check it out. It is a cross-play league as well, so... Um, if you're on PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, and if you want to come and check it out, you can, by all means, you can come check it out. So, um, and uh, mainly if you're sort of in this re Australia, New Zealand, uh, what do you call it? Singapore, Indonesia, I suppose. If you're in that region, then you can you can come and join up anyway. But um, yeah, most of the stuff, like I said, will be down in the description. Or if you know anybody that you race with in other leagues that race in this league and then ask him and for a bit of help to get in this league anyway so they're always on the lookout for drivers are uh, the um wallaby racing league but uh, anyway um other than that uh next bit of footage will be the return of al sorrel we go ahead to the brazilian grand prix um yeah who knows what will come of that one whether wet weather will play a factor or not who knows but um yeah other than that i um, obviously won't be doing any other leagues after that uh 107% F1 is heading to somewhere. Um, not, I can't remember off the top of my head. My memory's been absolutely shocking of lately. Don't know what it is, but... Um, that's right, they're heading to the Spanish Grand Prix. So, um, for their one, um, don't think... Uh, nothing will be much on Saturday. Uh, and I don't think there'll be much Sunday either. Was think, thinking about doing Inter's Racing League, but I realised they're doing a Japanese Grand Prix. But yeah, I'll, I'll work that out when it comes to it. But I don't believe there'll be a race back Pacific Elite Series race this week. No, we're not back till the 10th, the 12th of September. So I think we have a little break next week for Belgium. So before, oh, sorry, before Belgium, I should say. So it yeah, was it say third to the 5th of September, of all break for all leagues, and then it's sort of a split break for the Sundays and the Tuesdays after that in, like, late October. So, yeah, probably won't be too much there. And I don't think Purple Sector F1's racing either. So, I don't think there's much, too many other leagues going on at the moment, but I'll probably have a little breather myself and might even, well, if it's suitable timing, anyway, might watch the real-life Italian Grand Prix. Um, other than that, Project One Esports on a Monday. We'll be back for uh, Deep Rock Raceway. Hopefully I've got that run right over it's it's Switzerland before we have that week break uh, for that one. So hopefully we'll not have any dramas like I did last last Monday. Which if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But you don't. Well, you actually probably thank God you don't need to see it because otherwise it would have been very bad. Anyway, uh, Tuesday Rapid Racing League. We head to the Spanish Grand Prix uh, for the next round. So uh, yeah, we'll see how that one pans out, and then. Um, back here next week, Wallaby Racing League for Abu Dhabi. See how that one. It's been a good track for us in the past, so I haven't had too much time on uh, at Abu Dhabi yet. Oh, actually, I did. Did I? When did I? Oh, when I was getting the time trial times in for I think this league, if I'm not mistaken, to get myself in the tier one. When obviously I found out I was doing Al Sorrel on the Thursdays instead of the Wednesdays, so that obviously opened me uh, the doors a little bit for for other leagues. So anyway. That's where we're at anyway, so... But, yeah. We'll see what happens tomorrow night and I'll, in the next one for our Sorrel. Um, not expecting miracles, but who knows? We have not had a great start to the season there, but hopefully he'll turn around, but I'm not hoping for any miracles. But, anyway, like I said, smash the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my socials below. Go follow my Twitch and Kick channels. When I'll get back to streaming... <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know. Apologies for the cough. I'm, I'm slowly recovering from the flu. Like I said, from last week's recording, I felt like I was coming down with something. And yeah, in the end, I, I did, obviously, with the flu. But slowly on the mend. Not quite 100%, but we're getting close, I think. Um, but yeah, go check the stream, uh, the um, the Twitch and Kick channels. Like I said, I'm not, not sure when I'll get back into streaming, if ever. But 
And also go check out the um, Wallaby Racing League stuff. What I know anyway, that might have some stuff in the description. I don't think they have too many socials or a YouTube channel, but the Twitch one's probably the main one. So you can go check that stuff out there. Anyway, um, I'll leave you with the highlights from that race. Congrats to the top three, obviously, for the, in that race. And, uh, yeah, obviously, 7 and 13. Probably not ideal race results, but probably the best we could get. But, uh, let's see, whether Jack can get a penalty removed or not, I don't know. But, yes, we'll see what happens with that one, if anything. But, um, hopefully, still good points anyway for Mercedes. I haven't been keeping an eye on the others. Tears. Uh, apologies. But, um, you'll see how that one pans out anyway. But, uh yeah, we'll leave you with the highlights from that race. Uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Really do appreciate the support, as always. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you probably next round here at Wallaby Racing League for Abu Dhabi or whichever league run races you watch on my channel. But till then, it's goodbye.